What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna talk about the key features coming with iOS 16 this fall. Just to mention that Apple said iOS 16 will come to the iPhone 8 and newer. One of the main new features is the lock screen customization. You can choose to display a set of widgets as part of your lock screen to look at information like the weather, time, date, battery levels, upcoming calendar events, alarms, time zones and activity ring progress. You can edit the clock font and color, adjust picture placement, try out different styles like filters, change one or multiple elements and create multiple lock screens. Apple's navigation app is expanding again, offering coverage in 11 new countries. It's also adding 6 new cities to the 3D city map network. More practically, now you can add up to 15 stops in an Apple Maps route, letting you navigate throughout multiple points easily. You can add more on the go by asking Siri, or prepare a route beforehand on a Mac and send it throughout to your phone when you are ready. Live text and visual lookup will also get some upgrades in iOS 16. Starting with live text, you will be able to pull text from videos. You can pause on any frame and highlight the text you want. Live text will also work in translate, so you can highlight large amounts of foreign text. In addition to the customizable lock screen, notifications in iOS 16 will roll in from the bottom of the screen, instead of obscuring the center of your wallpaper. Another feature coming to help is a section that will let you walk and manage your medications. With the iOS 16 medications feature, you can enter the pills you are taking and more importantly, schedule reminders to take your pills at specific times. Apple Pay Later is a new feature for the Apple Wallet in iOS 16. The Buy Now Pay Later service will allow users to split any Apple Pay purchase into four payments over six weeks, all from the Apple Wallet app. Payments are zero interest and come with no fees, provided the user makes their payments on time, and should be available anywhere you can use Apple Pay in the United States. The focus filter will now extend to your iPhone lock screen with the ability to create a custom screen tied to a specific focus mode. There will be overhaul of the home app with a complete new design and now you will be able to sort more easily your accessories. Messages will also see some big improvements with iOS 16. You will be able to edit and undo your messages in iMessage within 15 minutes of clicking the send button. But if the other person has iOS 15 or older, they will be able to see the original message. You can also mark threads as unread, just in case you want to come back to them later. That's some of the key features coming with the new update. There is a lot more, so if you want to check everything, there will be a link in the video description. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and if you want to watch more content like this, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, bye.